Okay, let's look at something a little bit different. I'm gonna start a new project. This time I'm gonna use the vertical plane. So now this is a wall, that's sort of a vertical wall. So you can see that there. So let's have, let's explore a little bit. Let's start with, let's, we could make a marble run. So I'm gonna add a box and it's on there. I'm going to, let's change the width, okay. Um, let's change, we're, we're okay here. I can change the bevel radius, which is the rounded edges. You can do that. Um, I'm just gonna change, sort of rotate it a bit like this, okay? So now this, this is sitting there. Now the important thing is, let's grab a ball. I'm gonna grab a ball. I'm gonna put the ball up here. And I want this ball to fall down, like a like roll along here. There's a problem though. The thing is that both of these things, I haven't done something yet. I need to, when I select this, I need to make sure this participates in physics. And for the ball, I need it to be dynamic, meaning it will fall. It's gonna fall down. When I press play, it falls because it's participating in physics. Now, it went right through this plank here because I need that one to also participate in physics. Now what I don't want is, I don't want it to be dynamic. If I have it as dynamic, they'll both fall. So what I want is, I'm gonna select this one and I'm gonna change that to fixed. So now, when I press play, that ball is gonna bounce off of there. So, I'm gonna press stop. Remember, I have my duplicate with behaviors on, so what I'm gonna do, what I could do is duplicate one of these. I'm gonna move that over here and I could rotate it. Okay, maybe I'm gonna put it there. Let's see what's gonna happen. There we go. So, what I want you to try to do is try to make a marble run of sorts where maybe this ball, you could have multiple ones, you could have different things falling. Um, you can also use different objects. So I could add, um, maybe I could add something else like this. But what you'll notice about these is that they actually, I, I was hoping to make this a, a basketball hoop of some sort, um, but even if I get it to rotate like this and I change the scale so it's really big, this, it, the computer doesn't, the, the iPad doesn't see this hole as a hole, unfortunately. So if the ball is gonna go through that, it's actually not gonna go through that. Let's sh I'll show you what I mean. So I'm gonna move this down here. Let's see where the ball goes. Okay, the ball goes there. So let's move this over here, and I'm gonna get the ball to fall through there. Okay, oh, I forgot that this doesn't participate in physics yet. So tap on that, participates in physics. It's gonna be fixed so it won't fall down. Let's see what happens. See how it doesn't fall through the, rate, the hole there? It doesn't see this, it doesn't see that as a hole. Even if I move this, oh, let's press stop. Even if I move this out here, it still doesn't see this as a whole. It just sees that as one object. So when I press play, it's gonna, it kind of looks kind of funny. So just be aware of that, but see if you can make a marble run that, that, does, that has some fun, see how it's stuck on there and then it falls off. So, but that is making sure you can make a vertical marble run, then you could try it against a vertical wall.